right now. So we, through our uh, intellect, start deciding, okay, what about this person? Well, that person, then we start dating, in and out of relationships, trying to find out who we want. When God already knows that he knows exactly what you desire before you was even conceived. So why trust yourself who's limited when you can trust God who's limitless? Now the question is, Josh, okay, what should I do while I'm waiting? Simple. Put your hands, put your life in his hands. Let him shape and mold you. That's what happens, man. When, anytime there's a process, the developmental stage is the key stage in every aspect of life. Anything that develops, any, any, the season in which everything develops is key. Without that developmental stage, there's no sense of maturity. There's no maturity to reach. That's why when you're waiting on Mr. Right, fix you. I mean, why would God bless you with a, I'm going to talk about this later. Why would God bless you with a woman if you got lust in your heart? Why is God going to bring Miss Right when you can't keep up behind yourself? Why is God going to bring Miss Right when your eyes is going to and fro, not in the girl's eyes, but at her behind? And why is God going to bless you with a Mr. Right if you're so insecure and your balance are unbalanced? I mean, your, your emotions are unbalanced. Why is God going to bless you with a man of God but with your mouth you tear him down? Why is he going to do it? This is why I believe that God will bring Mr. and Mrs. Right into your life quicker when the moment you start pointing at yourself and allowing God to work on you. Right now, write down all your flaws. Write down everything. Okay, what am I lacking? You contribute. A relationship is who contributes to it. Relationships is something. A marriage is this. And it has two people that says, I can contribute to this. What you contribute determines whether or not the relationship lasts. So if you contribute in lust, your relationship will not last. If you contribute in insecurities, it's not going to last. If you contribute in nagging and backbiting and talking too daggum much, it ain't going to last. If you want Mr. Right and you want Miss Right, work on yourself right now. You're the Mr. Right now. You're the Miss Right now. And what you do right now determines whether you're going to become Miss or Mr. Right conjoin or join with Miss and Miss Right. Work on yourself right now. So that you can be ready for Mr. and Mrs. Wright. Thank you for watching my video today. Got me sweating up in here. But thank you for watching. Feel free to check out my website, KennyMaturian.com. If there is anything that I may have missed in this video, trust me, I will bring it back into light in the next video. Feel free to share. Feel free to repost. Check out my blog, WeTalkReal.blogspot.com. You can follow me on Twitter, on Kingdom Eternity. Well, Twitter, Kingdom Eternity. Uh, I'll be posting... Something I have a key to maternity group on Facebook. Feel free to check it out and join it. And uh, if you want to be an administrator on that group to help brand, branch out these videos, feel free to let me know. I'll send a mass email soon to see who is willing and who will want to be so we can spread these videos out because it's not about me, it's about reaching people. Thank you so much for watching and be blessed. Also with this video, uh, I had some questions, uh, uh, questions from a, a lady who uh, watched the waiting and dating video, I don't know, it was a relationship and baggage video, and I'm going to go ahead and address these now on this video that I just did, uh, Mr. Right and Mr. Right Now, and Miss Right and Miss Right Now. Uh, the first question was, uh, should Christians completely shy away from dating or relationships? I believe so. Like I said in the video, it's all about maturity, it's all, it's all, it's all about preparing yourself for something. I mean, you don't, an Olympiad, a person in the Olympics don't just jump into the Olympic Games and run. No, it's a preparation into being great or prepared to run the Olympics. So how can you be ready for marriage, something that's so valuable, something that's so holy before God, if you ain't first prepared? How you practice is how you perform. How you practice in your single life determines how you perform in your relationship. So allow God to work on you I don't think dating is good because why, you don't need to teach yourself anything. God is the ultimate teacher. He leads and guides you into own truth. The Bible says when a man finds a wife, he finds a good thing. Not when a man finds multiple girls, he finds a good thing. And uh, why isn't dating biblical? I said in one video why dating isn't biblical because look at the damages that dating has caused into all of our lives. I mean, that's been plenty of damages. The only thing that dating produces it oftentimes is broken hearts. And then we jump into other dating situations saying asking that person to heal us when the only person that can heal any type of brokenness is God. 
So if you're dating right now, count the cost of it. Because if you continue to date, chances are you might get some scars. Uh, also, that she said, uh, what should we be focused on? Like I always said, be focused on your relationship with God. But let Him develop you so that when y'all two come together, y'all can be in a better position. Add some stock to your life. Raise up your stocks. Dress up and enjoy life. Uh, you know, catch up on some hobbies and just do stuff to uh, increase your value. Because if you if you just going around person to person and, and, and losing everything, letting everybody touch your goodies and do all that stuff, your value decreases. Lift up the standards so we can also be able to see you through, we can see Christ through you and lifting up that standard. And the last question is how would we, how would one do that today in a society that's completely bombarded with this idea? Uh, yeah, basically, society is already making it tough, and I understand that. It's, 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 it's tough because we long, we desire to have relationships. We desire, I know, I desire right now as a single man, I would love to have a wife to be there for me, help me through these, I mean, just help me through life. I understand the feeling. But the thing is, what's more important now? What's more important today? Are you in a relationship? Why, so fo why focus on something that's not here yet when you're here? Work on yourself. Even though society is bombarding you, cut the TVs off. Do what you got to do to keep yourself. But even if you watch TV and you see these shows and you see people all over campus doing that stuff, look beyond it. Look at beyond it and say, you know what? Chances are that's infatuation anyway. That's not real love. Because think about it. It's love is how our grandparents did it. And our great-grandparents did it. And when I, when I go out to eat sometimes, I see old people holding hands. That's love. They probably went through everything together. That's love. Infatuation, running around, skipping, and happy-go-lucky, that's infatuation. Love endures all. Love is through thick and through thin. So today, work on yourself. Let God prepare you to be that Mr. Right and Mr. Right, Mr. Right and Miss Right. Thank you for watching. If you have any more questions, feel free to hit me up on Facebook or email me at kingdometernity at gmail.com. But y'all be blessed today.